uh, Chuck Smith. Really? He used to um, say, uh, Paul, if you don't use your gifts for the church more, the Lord's going to take them away from you and he's going to punish you. And he was more Pentecostal than I ever was. You know? Chuck Smith. Yeah, he really was. Well, he was a uh, supply pastor for the first uh, four square church in Phoenix. and. Uh, so there was one of the sponsors of my meeting at Madison Square Gardens, which was a, uh, not the you know the main thing in uh, New York, but this was what they called it in uh, uh, Phoenix. There was a wrestling arena and all that, a sports arena. Okay. And so um, we were filling that twice a day, and he was my um, worship leader, and then he became my. Uh, uh, campaign manager, so he, he even owns up to this and talks about this on tape before I ever did. And uh, he would set up meetings for me, but he would uh, chide me and say, at that time I, I could see all of the fallacies and all the failures in the uh, Pentecostal movement, and I was moving away from that. And he was still very much four square at the Huntington Beach Four Square Church. And uh, so he he said, uh, Paul, the Lord's going to punish you if you don't use your gifts for the church, you know. And then um, and he had a green carpet or something. We were just lying down on that carpet talking or sitting down on the carpet. And uh, uh, so we're the best of friends. And that's when he, uh, like oh, that. yeah. Yeah, we went fishing by the Roosevelt uh, Lake in uh, Arizona. And he made uh, the best uh, baked beans in the world. You know, he buried them in the sand or the, and uh, cooked them. And he was just a wonderful fishing buddy. And wow. uh, eating, you know, with my gifts. And I had a letter from him saying, uh, you know, addressed to my fishing buddies that come out to California and we'll take you deep sea fishing and uh, treat, really treat you right. And so if you'll. Uh, come to me, uh, come to my church for a meeting, we will really treat you right. But yet, he had told uh, Chuck and his wife. And, and then uh, his, uh, his son, Chuck Jr., 